Welcome to Real Issue Podcast. I'm your host, Martel Llewellyn. Guys, if you are a Miami Heat fan, continue to like, share, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all the support. And if you're an NBA fan, subscribe to the channel. And thank you for all the support. So we know that Damian Lillard has been traded to the Milwaukee Bucks. Bro, social media is going crazy. They want Pat Riley's head, and I don't blame them. You know, people saying that Pat Riley should be fired. He's old. He's washed. And at the end of the day, Heat Nation, we're just tired of being lied to. We're tired of hearing that, you know, we're going to get all these players. And then when it comes to it, we don't get anybody. We waited this whole offseason. We really didn't sign anyone outside of Thomas Bryant and Josh Richardson. And look, we still ended up with no Damian Lillard. Yeah, we marginally improved this roster, but it really all still falls on Jimmy and Bam. Because if Tyler Hero, if he's not going to take that leap like how Bam did last year, what is it all for? Tyler Hero is going to have to take a significant leap. And once again, the only reason why Tyler Hero was on that trading block is because he's valued as our best trading piece. And for some strange reason, the Portland Trail Blazers just didn't see it that way. I don't understand why they would take Drew Holiday. I understand why they got, you know, DeAndre Ayton. He fits their timeline. But what's the point of keeping Drew Holiday when I know they're probably going to trade him off or something like that? But man, I'm telling you, they are going to crucify Pat Riley. I don't understand how he's going to go to the podium and really address this because once again, I think he dropped the ball. How do you not get a guy that says he wants to be here? And I understand that he has so much faith in Jovic. I know he has faith in Jaime Hawkins Jr., but these guys have barely played in the NBA. I understand their potential. I understand what they could do, but we don't know. They cannot pan out. And then now we look like the idiots because now we have a star caliber player in Damian Lillard going to one of our Eastern Conference rivals. To think now that Giannis Antetokounmpo, Middleton, and now Damian Lillard, they had an upgrade. I understand that Drew Holiday is a pretty good defender, but especially offensively, that is a huge upgrade. And I'm sure that Dame is probably pissed because he really did want to go to the Miami Heat. But to be honest, a second best option is the Milwaukee Bucks. I just know that Jimmy and Bam are pissed. They wanted Dame especially Bam at a bio. He did all this recruiting. Without Bam, there is no Dame Miller. So I know that he's definitely upset. I know for a fact, Jimmy, he demanded that we get Dame Miller at whatever cost. I just don't understand how we don't get this deal done. You know, so I don't blame Heat Nation for going after Pat Riley. Pat Riley continues to disappoint people. And once again, I understand that they're banking on internal development, but that is a very risky, dangerous game because at the end of the day, everything is going to fall on Bam and Jimmy, and I don't think that's fair. Damian Lillard, he would have moved the needle for this team. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Like, share, comment, subscribe as we continue to push to 3,000 subscribers.